Hi, and welcome to week 13 of economics. So this week, we'll be delving and exploring key concepts uh, that shape our understanding of corporate structures, mergers, multinational corporations, and nonprofit organizations. So we'll kick things off by exploring the characteristics of corporations, including the creation of stocks and bonds. So corporations as distinct legal entities possess unique characteristics that set them apart in the business world. One defining feature is the ability to issue stocks and bonds. Stocks represent ownership in a company, providing shareholders with voting rights and a share in profits. On the other hand, bond on the other hand, excuse me, bonds are debt securities that corporations issue to raise capital, promising periodic interest payments and the return of principal. Together, stocks and bonds form the bedrock of corporate finance, enabling companies to attract investment and fuel their growth. Next, we'll be looking at the pros and cons of such incorporation exploring the advantages and disadvantages that come with this organizational structure. Incorporation offers a range of benefits, such as limited liability for shareholders and perpetual existence, allowing corporations to outlive their founders. On the flip side, the complexity of corporate governance, compliance requirements, and the potential for, for conflicts of interests are among the drawbacks. We'll navigate to these pros and cons, providing insights into the considerations businesses face when deciding to incorporate. Moving on, we'll delve into the types of corporate mergers, examining how companies join forces in the dynamic landscape of business. Corporate mergers take various forms, each with its own strategic objective. So from horizontal mergers, where companies in the same industry combine forces, to vertical mergers involving entities at different stages of the production chain, we'll dissect the motivations behind these mergers. Understanding these dynamics is key to unraveling the intricate web of corporate strategy and competition. Next, We'll explore the role of multinational corporations, MNCs, in today's globalized economy. Multinational corporations transcend national borders, operating in multiple countries and contributing significantly to the global economy. We'll examine the factors driving companies to adopt a multinational approach, from accessing new markets to leveraging diverse resources the impact of MNCs on host countries and their role in shaping international trade patterns will be central to our exploration. Finally, we will identify the purpose of nonprofit organizations with a focus on professional and business organizations. So nonprofits or nonprofit organizations play a vital role in addressing societal needs. And within this realm, Professional and business organizations have a specific mission. These entities aim to advance the interests and expertise of their members while often contributing to broader community development. We'll unravel the unique characteristics of nonprofit organizations, highlighting their importance in fostering professional development and social responsibility. So to conclude, this week, we will go through the intricate landscapes of corporations. We'll take a look at mergers, multinational entities, and nonprofit organizations. These economic concepts not only shape the business world, but also influence the fabric of our interconnected global society. So I look forward to seeing you all in class and working with you throughout the next week. We will, of course, be utilizing our Beyond Classroom resource during class. And in case you miss class, you can find any missing lesson that you uh, skipped uh, being present there on BC. We are nearing the end 
of our uh, first semester. So um, we're getting at a critical point of the year. So I hope to see you all and I look forward to working with you. Thank you.